September 16th. On this day we keep the memory of the holy great martyr Euphemia of Chalcedon. Saint Euphemia lived at Chalcedon in the reign of Diocletian. Her parents were rich and devout and brought her up in the love of Christ. At that time Priscus became proconsul of Asia. He was an enthusiastic devotee of Mars, and he ordered all the inhabitants of the province to come to Chalcedon to celebrate the feast of his god under pain of death. Whereupon the Christians fled in small groups to isolated houses or to the deserts in order to escape the tyrant and safeguard their faith. Saint Euphemia was among those who went into hiding, and by her virtue and wisdom shone as a bright star amid her forty-nine companions. They were soon discovered and brought before the proconsul, who tried to persuade them to sacrifice by flattering their youth and their good sense. Do not waste your time and your words on us, the saints answered him. We are people endowed with reason, for whom it would be the greatest disgrace to abandon the one true living God, the maker of heaven and earth, in order to worship dumb, senseless idols. We are not afraid of the torments you threaten us with. They will be easy for us to bear and will show you the power of our God. These words enraged the proconsul, and he had Euphemia and her companions tortured continuously for twenty days. Then, finding their faith completely unshaken, and seeing that Euphemia was the leading spirit of the group, he ordered her limbs to be crushed by iron wheels. But the martyr called upon the help of God, and was discovered to be completely unscathed. Then she was cast into a furnace with flames forty feet high. But God came to Euphemia's aid there also, and sent an angel who drew the flames away from her. Seeing this miracle, the executioners Victor and Sostinis turned to Christ themselves, and they died as martyrs too some days later at the teeth of the beasts. The saint had many more torments to endure, from which God each time delivered her, showing how much stronger grace is than any torture the malice of man can devise. In the end she was thrown to the beasts and gave up her soul to God through the mere bite of a bear. When the persecution of Diocletian ended, the Christians laid St. Euphemia's holy relics in a golden sarcophagus, placed within a church that was dedicated to her. On her feast day there would flow from her tomb a stream of flesh blood, having a heavenly scent. The miraculous rejection of the tomb of the heretics during the Council of Chalcedon in 451 also occurred at her shrine. Her relics attracted crowds of pilgrims for centuries. They were translated to Constantinople in 616 at the time of the Persian invasions, and they remain intact to this day in the church of the Patriarchate at the Fanar. King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest to all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever in the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Jesus, unto thee thy Lamb doth cry with a great voice. O my bridegroom, thee I love, and seeking thee I now contest. And with thy baptism am crucified and buried. I suffer for thy sake that I may reign with thee. For thy sake I die that I may live in thee. Accept me offered out of longing to thee as a spotless sacrifice. Lord, save our souls through her intercessions, since thou art great in mercy. Let us chant unto the Lord, who led his people through the Red Sea, for he alone has gloriously been glorified. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. With her miracles, the O Lord in maiden draws to her praise the assemblies of those beyond the world and the choirs of mortals. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God the for August, us. The August Euphemia, disdaining kindred and the fame that comes of riches, obtained Christ in the stead of all things. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Desiring the beauty of thy most comely heart, O all famed Euphemia, the Master deemed thee worthy of the heavenly bridal chamber. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Immaculate Theotokos, who past nature gave birth to the everlasting Word, the God transcendent when he became incarnate, we praise thee. Lord, thou art the steadfastness of them that flee unto thee in faith. Thou art the light of all those in darkness, and my spirit sings thy praise. O holy great martyr, Euphemia, pray to God for thou us. Thou wast seen to have a manly soul before the tribunal, and thou didst put the enemy to flight with thy manly contest, so all famed Euphemia. Holy great martyr, Euphemia, pray to God for there us. There was neither spot nor wrinkle in the beauty of thy soul, and Christ has led thee into his undefiled bright chambers as a bride. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Heal the wounds of my soul, O all famed Martyr of Christ, and smite with thine intercessions the enemy's devices. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We Christians all possess thee as our refuge and shelter. We glorify thee without ceasing, O Bride of God. In the streams of thy blood, O Martyr of Christ, thou continually drownest ungodliness. O famed Euphemia, and with showers of grace divine, thou dost water the fields of men's souls, O most modest maid, and therein thou increasest the wheat of the holy faith. Wherefore, after death, thou hast been wondrously seen as a cloud ever gushing forth with the witness of endless life, O our lauded prize-winning saint. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the Saviour's cross lay hidden in the earth, the august Helen zealously brought it forth. She filleth the farthest ends of the, the earth with exceeding joy. She commandeth the churches be built by the Spirit's grace, while she bringeth the scepter to rest in the royal court, where she cries out unto her Son with rejoicing, O Sovereign, most wise in God, stretch thy hands forth and now receive what has been shown to all to be thy victory and dominion and strength, and instruct all nations by the grace of God to praise and worship the saving cross and passion of Christ God. 
I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensations, most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Thou madest thyself an unspotted mirror of divine understanding, and thou shones as a right stately luminary in the midst of the athletes, O martyr Euphemia. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God thou for us. Thou didst not offer sacrifice unto the darksome demon, O invincible martyr, for thou didst love a life bringing death, and didst desire to be offered up for piety's sake. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Like the other prize winners, the blameless Euphemia, though in the body was as if free from pain, for out of her love for God she endured the punishment without feeling the Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In thy patient endurance, O martyr, thy countenance shone brightly with beams of light, but with the lighting of the Divine Spirit it darkened the minds of the enemy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Grant us forgiveness of sins committed in ignorance, O God, since thou art without sin, and make thy world peaceful by the intercessions of her that gave thee birth. Waking at dawn we cry to thee, save us, O Lord, for thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Recognizing the adversity of the day and of peace, thou didst not deign to make terms with the war-loving demon. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for Thinking us. Thinking to undo thy God-inspired resolve, O martyr, the old evil one was made a laughing stoke by his own device. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grant me enlightenment and peace, O Euphemia, all famed, and end by thine intercessions my much troubled ignorance. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We praise thee as a virgin after giving birth, O Theotokos, for thou didst conceive God the Word in the flesh for the sake of the world. Grant me a garment of light, O thou who coverest thyself with the light as with a garment, most merciful Christ our God. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Having a manly disposition of soul in a woman's body, O glorious maiden, thou didst scorn the beast in the water. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for thou us. Thou overcamest the tyrant's wanton pride, O invincible martyr, abiding in the water without harm and remaining like Jonas amidst the beast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord heard thy prayer, O all famed Euphemia, and rescued thee from destruction by beasts, as he did Daniel from the dead. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who alone by a word didst conceive the word in the flesh, rescue our souls from the snares of the enemy, we pray. Thou strovest valiantly in thy sacred contest, and even after death thou makest us holy with streams of wonders, O famed Euphemia. For this cause we venerate thy most holy domitian, and with faith we stand before thine all venerable relics that we be freed from illnesses of soul, and also draw forth the grace of thy miracles. The temple of the all-famed Euphemia is revealed to be a paradise, having in its midst a tree of immortality, even her august body. They that reap the flourishing fruit thereof are straightway sanctified, and they marvel when they see how that a dead body as though alive pours forth blood, anointing all with fragrance. Therefore with diligence come ye all to me, lowly as I am, and be cleansed of every stain. Let us embrace it and draw forth the grace of her miracles. Let us embrace it and draw forth the grace of her miracles. Once from out of Judea did the children go down to the land of Babylon, the fire of the furnace they trampled down while chanting by their faith in the Trinity. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. 
O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. The manly exploits of the divine martyrs pass understanding. For the creator of all subjects, creation unto those who in contest cry out, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for the us. The celebrated maiden stops the tyrant's babbling mouth, and against her iniquities, trumperies, she divinely sings out in the Holy Spirit, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Before time the trinity of righteous children scorches them that hotly kindle the furnace, but now the godly-minded Euphemia, while praising the Trinity, catches the servants alive, and they praise the God of our fathers unto the age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The bridegroom mystically coming unto the all pure bride in the furnace, preserved her with the dew of the Spirit by the Father's good will, as she chanted, O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Having willed thus, O Saviour, to dispense our salvation in thine economy, thou dwelt in the maid's womb, and unto all creation as protectress did show her forth. O God of our fathers, blessed art thou. The King of heaven, whom all the hosts of angels hymn with their chants and praises of glory, Praise ye and exalt him to the ages forever. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. The most happy among women, having the grace of the Most High for a dowry, thou didst chant hymns while praising Christ unto the ages. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for Loved us. Loved in mind with immaterial desire for the bridegroom, Thou gavest thy body over to death, and thou lives unto the age. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Armed by the Holy Spirit against error as against the beast, the martyr Euphemia won the prize unto all the ages. We bless for the Son and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Thou chosest not a doom ruinous to the soul of spotless Euphemia, but it's bravely bought at the bite of the beast, for life that wax is not old unto the age. Ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Do not disdain those who seek the aid that thou dost grant, for, O virgin maiden, they do hymn thee, and they all exalt thee unto ages forever. O Mother of God, Most High, who knowest not wedlock, and past understanding didst conceive the true God by a word, O thou who art higher than the immaculate powers, thee do we magnify with unceasing songs of glorification. O holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. The flow of thy living blood is an ineffable proof of the undefiled life granted thee on high, O all famed martyr. For thou hast been shown to be an unfailing treasure of healings, for such as draw forth with faith. Holy great martyr Euphemia, pray to God for us. Death has touched thee according to the law of nature, O godly minded Euphemia. But thou art dispassionately clothed to the life-burning mortification, whereby, having made thy most pure body to be as thou alive, thou lives in incorruption, and the flow of thy blood bears witness thereto. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Crowned according to the rules of the contest, O martyr and preacher of Christ, thou was reverently entrusted with the tome of the venerable doctrines of Euphemia, which, having received from the fathers of the council, thou holds fast, and as a living pillar of orthodoxy, thou dost display to all. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O bride, who knows not what look, thou vessel of sweet fragrance, O virgin mother, thee do we magnify as the true and spotless cloud of the immaterial light, who didst receive in thy womb the heavenly rain. Receiving from the fathers the definition of orthodoxy, Christ God's allotted martyr, faithfully preserved it thus, enlightening and making glad the orthodox. Wherefore we gather to honor our famed Euphemia's memory. Wisdom, O 
most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, in the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our Father among the saints, Ninian, Bishop of Whithorn, equal to the apostles, in Latin of Scotland, protector of our monastery, whose holy memory we keep this day, with the prayers of our Father among the saints, Cuthbert, Bishop of Lindisfarne, Saint Sisoes, the Great of Egypt, Brandon, the Navigator, Oren of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron, and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our community and of our monastery. With the prayers of the holy great martyr, all famed Euphemia, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Victor and Sostinius of Chalcedon, the executioners who believed in Christ through Saint Euphemia, with the prayers of the Holy Martyr Melitini of Marcianopolis in Thrace, with the prayers of our righteous father Dorotheus, the solitary of Egypt, with the prayers of the Holy Martyrs Rogelius the monk and Servidius, who were beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 852, with the prayers of the Holy Martyrs Isaac and Joseph of Iberia, with the prayers of the Holy Martyr Ludmila, the princess of Bohemia, with the prayers of our righteous father Procopius of Sazava, with the prayers of St. Cyprian, the Metropolitan of Kiev, with the prayers of our righteous mother Edith of Wilton, daughter of Edgar, the King of England, and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day, and the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good, and he loves mankind. Amen. In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.